No falling yet, not quite windy enough. The Italian Lunarosa team came into the day with a plan to test out some new features on their boat, specifically with regard to their foiling efforts on the bay, but they were foiled by the wind, or lack thereof, as the trek around the course was slow going. But by going solo with the Swedish Artemis Racing Team not yet ready for competition, the Italians were able to get some work in and pick up a point in the standings without worrying about a head-to-head -head competition. Yeah, every day is going to be different, and uh, we were expecting, like, Everyone else, more breeze today, even uh, all the forecasts we had, uh, it was supposed to be windier day. And America's Cup announcer Tucker Thompson reminds us that this is nothing out of the ordinary, early going historically in each pursuit of the Cup. Well, it might seem like these early rounds are a slow build, and that's ab absolutely true. It's not like the, uh, this event's going to take off running on day number one. The teams know that, and the public might not, so it's important to understand that these early rounds, while we might only have one boat on the race course, are a very important trial and testing time period for the teams to come out and, and really fine-tune their boats. We've never sailed AC-72s before, so every race counts in a manner of speaking. Thus, no time is wasted when the AC-72s are getting a chance to run the course, even when things are less than breezy. But the America's Cup is a game, first and foremost, of design and technology. So every single race, the teams are trying out new toys, if you will, new tricks, towards their ultimate goal of getting a faster and faster boat package looking towards the end of the Louis Vuitton Cup. And ultimately, the winner of that will go on to the America's Cup. The quest for the Louis Vuitton Cup continues. Yeah, Give nice them a cheer, stuff. folks. Good stuff, Luna Rossa.